As seen in the previous video, uh, the double pole, double troll switch changes direction of the motor. Now, um, a lot of the time um, we need to add switches, uh, limit switches like these ones here, to stop the motor when it has driven their output too far. Okay, so all we have to do is um, put on a limit switch like this onto each circuit that makes a change direction. So that circuit makes a turn um, anti-clockwise, so we put a limit switch on there and there. And when you press the switch, it triggers the button and stops the motor. When the button's released, it continues on. And the same in the other direction.